So Bedman's one of my favorites in Guilty Gear. He's just so goofy, I love him. So let me get the cat out of the bag. So Bedman is strapped to a bed because if he wakes up, he dies. Like, he's so smart, his body can't handle it. However, he can go into people's dreams at will and teleport. Also, he talks really fast and is the embodiment of Reddit. <laughs> you're awfully funny. No wonder my client is so interested in you. No matter. Unfortunately, I'm afraid you're wrong. You couldn't possibly guess. I'm feeling generous, so it's not Ramlethal. In fact, I'm feeling very generous. It's not that man either. <laughs> Did I just raise some more questions? Two, four, more, exponentially more? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I mean, come on. He and his sister even have the up and down votes on their heads. At least we agree on that. Ben May was introduced in Exert Sign and is one of the bad guys, except he really isn't. Let me explain. In one cutscene in Exit Ref 2, Batman talks with Axel Lowe because Axel can't decide if he should use his power to go back in time to his original timeline and destroy this one or not. Batman then tells him what he's actually planning, to work with the Universal Will to make a new world for him and his sister.絶対確定世界は夢と現実の境界が曖昧になる時だ。その時ならば僕の行いを現世に定着させることができる。つまり妹を、そして今まで殺してきた人間も全て元の生活に戻すことができるんだ。だから僕は手にかける人物の素性は
where his best head reveals a mouth and it rings like an alarm clock. Sasuke, I love you for coming up with Ben, man. <laughs> His other super isn't good, it's called Hemi Jack. He summons a dark cloud sheep that slowly follows the opponent. This super is kind of bad because it's really slow. And if you get hit, the sheep disappears and you have to launch him into the sheep for it to actually do it. At least that's the only bad thing with that man. He's not top tier, but at least he's fun to play though. And finally, he has a cool instant kill called Theater of Pain. Uh, you've already made the mistake, the mistake that will cost you. No, I don't want to see that. If getting up after a fall and trying again was really all it took to win, then we'd all be winners, wouldn't we? Bet that win. Kaku will meet it, okay? No, she needs to get that Kaku. Kaku is not going to be able to do it. Kaku is not going to be able to Now, Strive Bedman is quite different. His sister Delilah doesn't do anything, and she only interacts with what the bed does. Now, here are his specials Call 4BA, Call 4B3, and Call 4B9 Malfunction, which he can also delay it. Bedman's gimmick this time is called Error 6E. Basically, instead of Deja Vu, when Batman uses his three specials, they have different explosions that happen. This is 4BAs, 4B3, and 4B9s. He also has two other moves that can affect Air 6E. I'm not saying this whole name, but his 20 set one basically causes his gimmick to come out early, and his dollar one delays it. Coin operated self destructs. Not one of my better ideas. <laughs> Batman has better supers this time. His Call 13C is an install for him, which powers up his attacks and causes Error 6E to be more powerful. <laughs> Call 4CC, he basically pulls a shockwave out from his eye and it has invincibility, so it's good when the opponent is about to attack you. <laughs> Bedman also isn't top tier in Strive, but he's still fun to mess around with, and I like playing him. Not like the Universal Will though, screw that bitch. Know your fucking place, trash! So Bedman had some changes to him from Xer to Strive, and I like both equally. Now granted, I like Deja Vu better than Error 6E, but both versions keep me interested, and I feel bad for both of them. Like, like Bedman died in Xer, and I actually cried when I saw the DLC story of Bedman at this scene. So that's all I got to say today. Have fun playing Strive and keep cooking those combos. See you later guys and have a nice day.